Good day, everybody. We're going to analyze today two major companies in AI. As you know, the channel is about disruption. And these two companies, I believe, with the different modes, will be disruptive and therefore generate value for their investors. So the first one is a fairly known company called NVIDIA. And why I talk about NVIDIA? Simply because it's a dominant company. They are making products related to AI and computing that tons of companies want. They cannot produce fast enough products that they sell. Therefore, they have a monopoly, they have a power, and they are generating excessive amounts of free cash flow. That's one of the most important criteria for me is investing in companies that generate profit. And Nvidia, yes, the stock is expensive. Yes, is an all-time high, I believe, but it is so dominant that there's no one that I see that's going to catch up to them. Unless they make a huge mistake on their own, they will continue, they will continue to be dominant and therefore they will transfer the value and their expertise to the shareholders, to you and me eventually if you are an investor. Not financial advice, I'm not telling you to buy it, but I'm looking into opening a position in NVIDIA. I currently do not have shares, but in the last six months, I have looked at the impact of AI and how it's bringing value to companies and the fact that it's not going away. This is a phase of computing that we're adopting and we're not going back. We're, no, we're not moving away from it. We are embracing it. And those who don't follow this trend will be left behind. So that's why I'm looking at NVIDIA. So I won't go through all their products and things like that. I'm still looking into that, but I'm going to analyze the chart, four hour chart and also the daily chart and quickly, briefly the week, the weekly chart. And we'll cover a second company also that is Palantir, one that I know less about, but also involved in AI and also with massive potential. So let's have a look at the four hour here. So for Nvidia, we had the W pattern here that resulted in this resistance level at $132 that eventually was broken clearly on the 16th of October and was retested on the 31st of October. I have said many times that when the stock breaks and if it retests at support and goes higher, it is a very powerful signal in technical analysis and it happened for Nvidia, very powerful signal and therefore the stock is going higher. On the daily we start to see this uptrend that is extremely impressive from bottom levels here of $40 and the price of $146, $147 right now. Like I indicated it's on a breakout and it will continue, in my opinion, to the upside slowly but surely. It has the momentum, it's going up to the right. I don't see anybody stopping Nvidia in the short term. So if you're interested in this asset, buy on dips on red days and start slowly accumulating the stock. This stock is going higher. I cannot tell you how high how long things like that i'm gonna follow the m2 supply because the m2 supply when it expanding it helps all risk assets and that include stocks therefore momentum for these tech giants will continue as long as the m2 supply continues to go higher if and whenever the m2 supply turns downwards we could see a correction a more important correction uh, in the tendency of the stock. I will warn you guys of that when it ever happens to maybe take profits and then see if we can see a nice correction on the stock. And if the company continues to be dominant, you buy at the bottom 
and then you ride the next wave. That will be my strategy for all these tech giants link to AI. Quickly on the weekly chart, you see the exponential phase of NVIDIA. Again, we're breaking out, we're all time high and we're trending up and you see that we have consolidation phases, explosion in price, correction, consolidation phases, explosion in price, correction. Here we had a double correction and now we're resuming a growth period for the stock. So that covers NVIDIA, a company that has a great mode, practically zero competition on their products, and everybody is buying their products as they are manufacturing them. So no worries about selling their products. One of the biggest clients of NVIDIA is Tesla, that requires their chips for all the work they need to do with FSD, therefore, Tesla and Nvidia will be in a relationship for a very long time. So have a look at, at Nvidia if it is a stock that interests you. Again, I invest in disruption, I invest in companies that have a moat, and companies that generate free cash flow for their investors and therefore bring value to the company and indirectly to their investors. So now let's talk about Palantir, also an AI company that now is transitioned from a more secretive type of clients that they had. They were working with governments and things like that, but now they're trying to work more with companies, public companies, private companies to help them in their business using their software and AI to optimize their processes and improve the efficiency of each single company. The transition is going on. Obviously, I would have liked to have this insight of the company earlier on. Sometimes you catch them early, sometimes you don't. Palantir has moved quite a lot already, but again, when you face with dominant companies, they will crush everybody on their path and they won't stop. So for Palantir, the same thing. I'm going to track days when we see big corrections to buy on dips. We haven't seen many of them recently, but they will happen. We see them here from time to time that we see big corrections here, correction here, correction here again, small correction, bigger correction here. But since the 4th of November, it has been on an explosion in price. Let's see how it behaves, but right now, obviously, the momentum is up and to the right. Again, I want to invest in leaders, in companies that have moats, that will dominate, generate cash for the investors, and have less risks of losing money. For myself, if I invest in the company, or for whoever wants to invest in the company. Currently, I do not have shares of Palantir, but I plan to open positions on Palantir. And as for Nvidia and Palantir, I plan to invest for a really long time. It's not day trading that I'm going to do. It's for years. Once I start allocating shares and a part of my portfolio to these stocks, it would be for a while, unless for whatever reason, their moat or their advantage changes, or we see big correction in prices or things like that. Again, as long as the M2 supply is expanding, I think these companies will do extremely well. If we see M2 supply contract, we could have nice opportunities. We could sell at the top and then wait until the M2 supply starts to increase again. And while the M2 supply drops, normally these types of companies will correct. If they correct, we can try to see if we can catch the bottom and buy shares at the time and ride the next wave of expansion of M2 supply with this tech giants. But AI is crashing the surface right now and we don't fully understand the impact of AI on the profitability of these companies. 
it could exponentially improve the status of the company very quickly if they know what they're doing, if they implement things properly. So growth can be explosive even on stocks that have moved already quite a bit. So you see here the progression of Palantir up and to the right from the bottom of 14. Now we are at $61. But in my opinion, we could go a lot, lot higher. Just have a look. Right now, as I indicated, it's on the vertical phase. We need to wait for these consolidation or even correction periods to grab some shares at the bottom. So do not chase, wait for pullbacks and rebounds to select future entry points, not financial advice. And on the weekly, it's even worse. So uh, the last push here has been quite impressive from a base of 40 to pre-market now 61. Very, very impressive push just recently. But have a look at Palantir. This company has a lot of potential. AI is involved in these two companies and we cannot grasp totally what the impact will be on these companies. AI is here to stay and it will change many things. I'd rather be on the train than on the sideline in these types of stocks. So have a look and see for yourself. Do your own research. I'm continuing to research both of them. I don't know these two companies that well. I know the other stocks of my portfolio a little more than these two, but I'm seriously looking at both of them. Ciao.